Hey guys, what's up? My name is Emily and today I'll be telling you about the five best things to do in LA. Number five on my list is the train ride to Ella, and while technically this isn't something to do in Ella, it still made it on my list because it's something worth mentioning. It's one of the top attractions of Sri Lanka, so I'll give you some advice. First class is always sold out. You pretty much need to know someone who knows someone who could hook you up with these tickets. But that's okay because you want second class anyways. In second class, you can walk around freely, hang your feet out the doors, stick your head out the windows, hands, feet, you get the point. Third class is a little crowded, which can take away from the experience. The journey from Candy to Ella is six hours long, so you can break up the journey by staying in Newer Elia. Also, from Newer Elia to Ella is the most scenic part of the journey. As far as cost goes, all the classes are affordable. You're looking to spend around $10 for first class, $5 for second, and as little as two for third, from Candy to Ella. When planning your journey, I recommend you check out the local holidays and plan your trip around them. The trains tend to fill up faster on holidays and on weekends, and you're not guaranteed to get on. Another word of advice is to check out the online timetables and to plan to take the express train. The old steam trains are very cool to see, but they're a lot slower and smaller. Later in this video, I'll let you know how you can still check them out. Number four on my list is to take a cooking class. In this class, you'll learn how to make the traditional Sri Lankan curries which is one of my favorite dishes. Of course, you could do this at any point of your trip, but I do recommend you to do an Ella if you can. The most popular cooking class is Ella Spice Garden, which I've heard good things about, except that you need a pre-book. We did our cooking class at Lenka's Cooking Classes, a little bit off the main road. This is a family-owned restaurant, and they have all the cooking facilities outside. What I loved about this place that I haven't seen in any other cooking school is that they cook in clay pots and over a wood fire. Now this is as traditional as you could get. After you learn how to cook a variety of dishes, you get to feast. This was definitely my favorite part. Number three on my list is the Nine Arch Bridge. This bridge was built during the British Empire and sits beautifully surrounded by mountains. This place is any photographer's dream. But you don't have to be a photographer to enjoy this place. It's a great spot to grab a coconut and wait and see the old steam trains. Because this place has become so popular with tourists, the police now patrol the area to make sure everyone is safe. Number two on my list is a day trip out of Ella to Diluma Falls. It's the second highest waterfall in Sri Lanka, and if you're going to see any waterfall, it should be this one. At the bottom of the falls, if you're feeling adventurous, you can climb over the rocks and have a swim. When you're done that, I recommend you make your way to the top. You could ask the local at the bottom, and they'll probably charge you around 1500 rupees to show you the way there. Or you can head a mile back and take a left at the pavement road. At the top, you'll reach a small village, and someone will need to show you the way from that point. The villagers are extremely nice. They work on donations so you can decide from your experience what you want to give. We gave around $15 and from the looks of it, it made their day. Finally for my number one is Little Adams Peak. Named after Adams Peak, which is another popular hike a few hours away. I know, I was a bit confused when I first started planning my trip, but they're two very different places. Not many towns that I visited had such a great viewpoint just a short walk away. It'll take you about 45 minutes from the center of Ella Village. Once you get up there, you'll have a breathtaking view of the surrounding mountains. It's an easy climb, so there's no excuse to not check it out. Ella was one of my favorite places in Sri Lanka, and although it had so many things to see and do, I also found it a great place to relax. The town itself has a bunch of nice spots to eat and a really cool vibe. Depending on how much time you have in Sri Lanka, I would recommend at least two nights, but if you have more time to spare, it's definitely worth it. Other places to check out in Ella are the Ravana Falls and the caves attached to it, or the Ella Rock, which is a longer hike. These places didn't make it all my top five, but would love to hear if someone had any great experiences. So if you did, please leave a comment below. 
Subscribe for more videos on Sri Lanka. We are currently making new travel guides every week on our favorite places and activities.